today we are going to see the phase rule the explanation of the phase component and degree of freedom phase rule it may stated as provided the equilibrium between any number of phases not influenced by gravity or electrical or magnetic force or by surface tension and only by temperature pressure and concentration then the number of degrees of freedom of the system is related to the number of components phase by the phase rule equation what does it mean it means it is not influenced by the electrical magnetic or the surface action but it is influenced by temperature pressure and concentration hence we say that f is equals to c minus p plus 2 where f is degree of freedom c is components and p is the phase so it is not influenced by gravity electrical or magnetic force but by temperature pressure and concentration so f is equal to c minus p plus 2 f is degree of freedom c is components p is the phase now we'll see what do you mean by phase a phase is defined as an homogeneous physically distinct and mechanically separable portion of the system which is separated from other such parts of the system by a definite boundary surface now phase is it is a homogeneous it is physically distinct and it is mechanically separable now here we can see the examples the freezing point and this water consists of three phase ice water and water vapor now see here this is a container it is a closed vessel in which we can see the vapor we can see the ice and we can see the water we can see these three phases together in the equilibrium the second if two liquids are invisible means they are not miscible they are not homogeneous that is we take an example of benzene and water it forms two phases now see here this is a container in which we took water and benzene they are not miscible with each other so we can see here the two phases one is of water and other is of benzene so we say the phases are two one and two now the third example if two liquids are miscible like we take alcohol and water they form one phase now this is a container or we can say a beaker in this we have taken alcohol and water so this alcohol and water they are miscible with each other we are not able to separate the alcohol and the water so we see it as only one phase so here the phase will be one so this was all about the phase the components the smallest number of independent variable constituents taking part in the state of equilibrium by means of which the composition of each phase can be expressed in the form of chemical equation means what do you mean by this it is the smallest number of independent variable here we are taking an independent variable taking part in the state of equilibrium by means of which the composition of each phase can be expressed so identically each phase has its own variable 
the examples are like this in water system we see ice water and water vapor now the chemical composition of the three phases is h2o now for ice i can write h2o water i write h2o for water vapor i write h2o so the chemical composition of the three phases is h2o hence it is one component system here it is h2o here it is h2o and also in water vapor it is h2o so we say it has three phases and one component the sulfur system it consists of four phases rhombic sulfur monoclinic sulfur liquid sulfur vapor sulfur and chemical composition of all phases is sulfur here we can see for monoclinic sulfur or rhombic sulfur or for the liquid sulfur or vapor sulfur for all this we write only the chemical composition is the s hence it is one component system like rhombic sulfur is sr monoclinic is sm then liquid will be sl and for sulfur it will be sv so every time here we are writing s s s and for vapor also it is s so the chemical composition will be uh, s and the component will be one so this was all about the component degree of freedom it is the minimum number of independently variable factors such as temperature pressure and composition of the phases which must be specified in order to represent the condition of the system now here the example are in case of water we see ice water and water vapor these all three phases are in equilibrium and there is no need to specify the condition why because even if we uh, disturb or altered the temperature or pressure any one of the phase will disappear the system is therefore we see the system is uh, uh, zero variant or uh, non variant or invariant or has no degree of freedom so generally we say f is equal to c minus p plus 2 where as we have seen in the previous in the component here ice is h2o water is also h2o and water vapor is also h2o so component will be one but the phases ice water and vapor these three phases are together so the phases will be 3 plus 2 so f is equal to 0 means we don't have to disturb either the temperature or the pressure if we disturb one phase will disappear so hence we say for this the degree of freedom is 0 that is non variant now for a system consisting of water in contact with its vapor the water and this is water vapor for this system we have to define either the temperature or the pressure like if i have to know if the temperature is known pressure will be automatically adjust and if the pressure is known temperature will be automatically adjust but i have to define either the temperature or the pressure so what i write here f is equal to c minus p plus 2 where the component here h2o will be the component here h2o so we take that the component is one phases this is water and water vapor so here i write the two phases plus 2 so this will get cancel plus 2 minus 2 and f is equal to 1 so we say here the degree of freedom is 1 means i should know either the temperature or the pressure so this was all about the phases the component and degree of Thank you.